Good morning, Europe. Good afternoon, Asia. Privateer FX coming at you. 16th of May. Let's check out what's going on today. Uh, let's pull up Darya. <coughs> Eventually we got paid yesterday. It took a while. But we did break that 200 day and this downward sloping trend line. Uh, we consider it important, um, and we're we're looking for higher highs now today. Uh, late in the day yesterday, we traded up to 45, which is sort of exactly where we thought it would finish, and we have little residual from yesterday. We will add on dips today. We don't want an hourly close below 110.15. And it's tricky to trade the hourly closes. What do you do if it's the first 10 minutes into the hour and we're trading at 109.95? Very, very tricky. So uh, everyone's going to have their own style on this. But we are considering 110, the figure to 110.20, a buy area today. And. We think it's important. 200 days should hold on a day with, on a daily basis, which is 110.13. Um, yields 307, right? I mean, we got we got what we wanted on this, so let's just stick with it. Uh, dollar Swiss, on the other hand, was a little more tricky. We had uh, a move up to 42, and then. Just classic dollar Swiss fashion. Ninety nine eighty four. How do you how do you like those apples? How do you like them apples? Um What a what a what a slut dollar Swiss is. Unbelievable. Uh so we're just still sideways here. One double O fifty seven is important. There's a reason we avoid dollar Swiss at Privateer because it's just close to impossible. Anyway, what we did miss yesterday was this move in uh, Euro. We were so focused on dollar yen. Actually, the real move yesterday was in Euro. So the breakthrough 109, 119.10 was excellent. Oh, we traded 100 points basically to a low of 17, uh, 93 points. This is sell on rally now. Um, yield, I guess, is going to drive this. But there's also multiple stories in Europe. The story in Italy, I would say, is not uh, Euro positive. Growth is not super Euro positive. Um, you know, there's a, m there's a few stories you can sink your teeth into also that's a bit left-hand side uh, Euro. But mainly, we have this big yield differential boons in 10 years so the move up to 120 was just a little bit of a retrace we never got back above the 200 day DXY now is cruising at 93.27 uh, no reason to try and fade this yet pretty sure we're going to attack this 117 and a quarter level uh, that might be an, an okay place to buy first time down but we're sell rally in uh, Euro today. Specific setups, Sterling Yen looks very interesting. I have no idea how this is going to trade, whether it's the Yen leg or the Sterling leg, but Sterling Yen through 149.20, we will be trading that today. And this is a weird one, but Euro Aussie looks, looks interesting. Through 147.76 is very, very important. And we have this little uh, little ledge here. A couple pips away now. 158.17. So I would consider shorting your Aussie um, as we get through 17 here and then uh, give it a slap through 147. 157.75. Like that Euro Aussie, Aussie chart. Uh, it's sort of secondary 
it's not really dollar related, even though this is a dollar move, but those are your two best charts, Sterling Yen, Euro Aussie. Uh, and just on the story side, you can accumulate dollar yen today and sell euro dollar. Equities dropped. As we said yesterday, we are not playing in the equity space right now, but pretty decent down day. 2700 stopped. <laughs> Got to be careful if Trump uh, does a deal with China, that'll be bullish. Uh, so, but you know where your stop is above this high here from the 14th. Uh, you got to kill any short. So, if you are short, it looks like you can stay short, uh, and your kill is uh, 2740. All right, I said enough. Focus, uh, as I said, Euro Aussie, Sterling Yen, Euro Dollar, and Dollar Yen. Pick your poison today. I wish you luck. Talk to you soon.